Hey guys, thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're going to be going over Bitcoin again. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel if you guys like this content and like the video and turn notifications on. Um, this is more of a fun video. I like to show these videos for different coins. Some of you maybe have seen some for other coins. But essentially what I'm showing are Bitcoin tokens traded on the y-axis versus price on the x-axis. Um, and uh, one of the things that's interesting is that I've also color-coded these these data points um, to be uh, you know, a function of time. So you can see the color corresponds to the dates on the color axis on the right-hand side of the screen. So, for instance, at the bottom, you can see you know 614 is June 2014, and then we go all the way up to the dark red um, to present day. Now, starting off here, you can see that when we this starts in 2013, because I don't have really um, reliable data before that for tokens traded. If you guys can find it, uh, let me know. But what you can see in the video is that we, you know, we we run up to that thousand dollar mark, and then we start retracing backwards. But each, even though we're we're moving backwards, the number of tokens traded is oscillating between 10 to the 4 and 10 to the 5. So that would be um, 10,000 to 100,000 tokens traded. Um, and you can see that we, we slowly move back until we start to actually see a rise in the number of tokens traded. Um, and you can see we'll slowly start to build out this upper region between, say, um, a little above 10 to the 5 as we continue to progress through time. I should note that each data point represents a single day. Um, so there are about 2160 data points, I believe. So it's a lot of data, so it does take it a while to get through. But you can see the uh, as we as we're moving now into into 2015 and 2016, we have really started to consolidate around this region over here, and we're we're basically just building out support. And then you can see we we experience some breakout. Um, and then we just basically built out this region of support uh, for, for a long period of time. I mean, it, and the, part of the reason I like to make these videos is because they give you a, a better appreciation for time and, and how with these assets we spend most of our time just, you know, in these specific ranges and then a very short period of time moving from one region to another. And, and you can easily miss those um, if, you, if you, say, get out of the market for a few weeks. So as you can see here, we're now into, into the middle of 2016. We are, I would say, we're mostly, you know, a 10 to the 5 or above with a few data points going below. And the price is approximately, uh, you know, a few hundred dollars. We still haven't reached our all-time high yet, um, which is a significant moment um, in Bitcoin's history when it got to that $1,100 from the previous bull, bull run, which occurred in the first quarter of 2017, which we are about to hit now um, in a few more seconds. And once we hit that all-time high, you can see that um, uh, we're really going to, you know, we're really going to take off. Um, and here we go. We're starting to make these moves where we're now approaching 10 to the 6 in tokens traded. And you can see our price is increasing um, somewhat commensurate with the tokens traded. So it's, it's a nice little trend you see here as, we, as these colors uh, move um, from uh, blue to yellow. And then here you can see, so I mean, this region here, we were in for a very long period of time. And then, you know, we, we basically jumped up to this region over here. And, you know, we have very little data points in here. So this goes with the narrative that we spend a very long period of time in certain regions, but then um, the move to the next region above it can, can happen very quickly. And if you were to say have gotten out of Bitcoin for these few weeks, you easily could have missed the move from you know $1,000 up to say $10,000. And I mean, of course, this would have been more than a few weeks um, going from here to here, but it would have been a few months, but just this narrow region over here, you, would have, you could have missed out on a, a huge, um, a huge gain. So you can see we came up and we're now, you know, we're, we're having a healthy number of tokens traded. We're trying to establish our, you know, sort of our support at around 10 to the 6. Um, so, I mean, and this is also, you know, going to increase as well because the number of tokens that are entering um, circulation will increase since more and more tokens are being mined. Um, but 
anyways, um, but now you can see after after we hit this region up here, we've we've started moving backwards, which is exactly what we did in the last bull run. You know, we hit this one thousand dollar mark, and then we slowly moved backwards up to this point where you can kind of see we, you know, we had this large band that deep, you know that got narrower and narrower as the price as the um, so the 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 price decreased, and as the price decreased, the number of tokens traded, the the, ra the range of it got narrower and narrower until we reached this region over here. And once we hit that point, that's when we kind of went on this new trend, moving up this um, uh, slope right here. And now we're essentially in the middle of doing what we did in this region over here. We were moving backwards, um, but we're moving backwards, you know, at a similar type of slope in a sense. You can see, you know, this trend went here, then up this way, then we're coming back this way, um, more or less, and then hopefully, you know, at some point, we'll see another, you know, big move into this direction. And this is what I've talked about in my, my other videos in, in looking at, you know, the next big move um, for Bitcoin. But, you know, it would likely take place over a couple years. It's not going to happen, you know, in a day or anything. But you might see a big price move, say, once Bitcoin reaches its previous all-time high. So once um, uh, once Bitcoin does reach its previous all-time high, you might start to see some, some breakouts, not necessarily in terms of price, but in terms of um, the number of tokens traded. Uh, because at that point, you know, a lot of people are going to start getting excited again about, about Bitcoin, who, you know, potentially exited the market um, before. So again, uh, I like to make these videos more or less just for fun. You can see, I, I like just looking at these trends, and in, in Bitcoin, it looks like we, you know, we get narrower and narrower, moving this way, we move up it, and then we're, we're you know, currently... Um, moving moving back more or less. I mean, you know, individual data points may move any specific direction, but just looking at this general trend, um, you know, it makes a lot of sense. And if you if you look over here, so this would be uh, say two, three, four, five, six. So we're really filling out this region right now. So a lot. See all this white space in here. Um, the 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 um, the similar area corresponding to the last market cycle. This was completely filled out before we saw that next move. So if we were to go back, you can see that um, as we, you know, as we um, continue to, you know, go through the cycle, this entire region was completely filled out before we were able to see this move here. Um, and then what I'm expecting is that um, well, we're going to see this range over here completely fill out, which looks like it's, you know, between, you know, like six and seven thousand dollar range, somewhere around there, maybe five thousand dollars. Um, let's see, so this would be two, three, four. So this line here is four thousand, and then this one would be like five, six, seven, eight, maybe between four and eight thousand. Um, not necessarily going to necessarily either of those extremes, but just filling out this region potentially over the next um, several months or, or year or so before starting to see our, our next big move um, to this notorious $100,000 mark, which I think is, is reasonable to hit in our next run. Now, the interesting thing is if, is if we do get to this 10 to the 5, and we continue this trend, then it would, it would lead us to believe that we would hit daily tokens traded of, of 10 to the 7, which corresponds to, um, uh, uh, Let's see, so 10 to the 6 would be a million, so then 10 to the 7 would be 10 million. So it would correspond to um, 10 million tokens. So that's uh, quite incredible to think about, considering the, you know, the, circulating, supp the circulating supply. Um, but remember, I mean, a lot of these are going to be, you know, traded back and forth many, many times. I mean, you could have one token traded, you know, 100 times in a single day, um, just through, you know, just through scalping the market. Um, so it, it kind of doesn't make sense if you think about how, how often tokens can be traded back and forth just over the course of a few hours. Um, so anyways, you know, I, not, not to say these videos are necessarily predictive or anything, but I, I do like to make them and, and, you know, hear what people have to say, because I haven't seen anyone else make these types of videos before, and I do think they can provide some unique insight into, into the behavior of the token that you might not get from places like TradingView or whatever it might be. 
I get a lot of questions as to, you know, how can I view these things on TradingView and other, th other places? Well, I don't know that you can currently because I just make these myself. Um, but I do sometimes post the graphs in uh, my Twitter and my Telegram channel, so feel free to follow me on Twitter. Uh, check out the Telegram channel, you can find it in the description below. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you guys like this content. I will continue to put out videos, hopefully on a daily basis um, for the most part. And we will be going into other, other coins as well. So this is the fifth video in a series of videos on Bitcoin. And I think, you know, I think moving forward, I will, I will cover Bitcoin, um, you know, probably the most out of any coins, just because I think it, it's earned that level of respect and it is the market mover. Um, but I will be looking into other coins as well. So continue to let me know what coins you guys want me to look at in the comments. I am reading all the comments. And in fact, many of them I'm responding to as well. So, uh, you know, keep, keep up, uh, you know, if you're dollar cost averaging Bitcoin right now, I think it's a decent time to do it. Um, but again, this is not financial advice. Just look for us to potentially fill out this region in the next year or so before hopefully starting to make this next move. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye.